like a Sinji come okay. and, and they support people there like a the Sing, the Super Sad, and I'll get in. They don't believe in having a democratic process. We call it for a clean voters list so we can go to election with a clean list. And even with this constant blackout, I think people are more uh, sensitized and edified to understand that uh, this blackout is not something that is just happening with the uh, with bad management alone, but something sinister. Okay, the um, wh wh where was I? Where was I? The, the 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 thing it stemmed from this person, right? Yeah. Seeing with the drone and stuff, making that connection, and then that escalated into um Otis Pearson's realm, right? Now he thinking that okay, it gotta be he because this individual over here said that. And then now, when Leroy Smith wanted to do the one million dollar reward, asking for the clean voters list is because the list that they have now have a lot of people who are dead for over twenty and thirty years. Dead, dead people. Why? Because they are not taking the dead people off the list. Telling people to stand by, your current will come on at ten o'clock, or it will come on at five o'clock, or it will come on at eleven o'clock. So these outages seem to be planned outages and they seem to be uh, happening at a time when people have at the back of their heads that a tug, a tug and barge uh, turned over in the, uh, in the um, Caribbean Sea there or the Atlantic, whichever one which uh, affected Tobago. And then there was this speculation that that crude was actually coming to Guyana for the generation for the generator sets that we have operating for GPL. And when the court matter is ended, they're gonna have to go and get a, um give back really Roy Smith's money because the police had no proof of what they were. Um, um, so you think it's now it's very corrupted and bribed, and bribed? Like a lot of people like that elected today are not the people that was elected no the process is totally different the way you look at it but if the list is not clean then the party you should be in government or the people we like to be in government would not go there because the list is corrupt is collaborating with the guided police force and they're getting information through a back channel when they're not um they're not getting what Warrants, right? They're supposed because of, of the, how the laws are set up. They're supposed to get a warrant okay. if they want to look into something. Okay. Right? But there's somebody there at GTD. I don't know if it's somebody or if it's the. This is how it does it. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. You can feel them. What is direction to go to the market? I can talk to them from there? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let's ask them, let's see what happens here. Yeah, man, what are you protesting for on? What are you protesting on, bro? Protesting GCOM. Okay. And, and they support people in there, like a lot of They're super sad. And I'll get in. They don't believe in having a democratic process. We call it for a clean voters list so we can go to an election with a clean list where we can be able to have those voters who are supposed to be on the list and not those dead people on the list. So what, what is going on here? What is that? A factory? That, no, this is the head office of the election commission. Of the election commission? Yeah, we conduct okay. election in Guyana. And so the election is very close now? Should be in a year from now. In a year? Free election in the country. So we are calling to have a clean voters list and for the, the list to be sanitized and it's also calling for biometric so we'll have a fair and clean election again. So you think it's now it's very corrupted and bribed, and bribed? Like a lot of people like that elected today are not the people that was elected. No, the process is totally different the way you look at it. But if the list is not clean, then the party you should be in government or the people we like to be in government would not go there because the list is corrupt and everything can take place. Okay. So I hope it's you're going to make some... We're going to stand here. Every Tuesday we're going to be busy out here. We will stand here until they get it right in GCOM. And we continue calling for a clean voters list. So you're waiting for someone to go out for you basically or not? I think you're clearly. You, you're waiting for someone from the inside to come out to you and talk to you? Or? No, we come out here, we 
let us let the let public know the national community okay. know that we call it for clean water. Let's see people dying is are fed up with the nonsense of going on in the country and especially the election system where we know it's a fraud and unless we get a clean and a new list then we will not have a fair a clean election in our country i get you man have a good uh, luck with it and a lot of success i wish you a lot of success with it we need this and the clean voters this is why we're asking for the clean voters list is because the list that they have now I have a lot of people who are dead for over 20 and 30 years. Dead? Dead people. Why? Because they are not taking the dead people off the list. So when they don't ah, take... they still have dead people on the list? Yes, they still have dead people on the list. Whoa, okay. So now when the, people, when the election time comes, they get an a, a ID card and they give it to somebody and they go now and with all those persons have been dead for over 20 odd years they are still voting that is the reason why we want a clean voters list where all the dead people name must be removed all those persons who have left and gone abroad must be off the list that's why we are calling they say one guyana but one guyana is only for the rich oh yes it is so true. Have a good luck with it Thanks. and a lot of success. Oh. We need we need a, a word, uh, you know, without corruption anymore. Yeah. Like free of corruption. Yeah, free of I corruption. I wish right. very, very soon for every one of us. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Good day. Okay. That is very interesting, guys. Yeah, I mean, like, I really respect that people, you know, those people, you know, or uh, standing right near, right now in the sun and protesting. This is uh, not, most of the people will not do that, you know, they keep on with their business. What we just see there, even though it was a small protest, you know they gone out to hundreds of thousands of people all over the world, because as an international travel channel, just interview them right there. So they gone to persons all over the world, way beyond the Guyana diaspora. Got to hear that. Skello voting in Guyana. When they talking about Skello, me talking about baby Skello. Big up yourself wherever you're there, brethren. We talking about dead people voting in GT. Oh, that could make sense, buddy. They don't make no sense. And the international community now here, though. And they're looking at we, we're supposed to be one of the biggest, fastest growing economies in the world. And the same, but we, type of Mickey Mouse country, they get going on there. They people voting in the election. They ain't got no real serious politicians in that country there. They is all looking at we. So now they're going to think when they come to interview our head of state, they could approach he, like that BBC person thing that they could approach he when they had that interview with him the last time there talking all kind of thing that they make no sense is because of situations like this that's going on where the international media is looking in and they acting as the want to act when they now come to interview our high-ranking officials but why Guyana though why Guyana why we always gotta be at the center of some world record type situations some situations was make the news internationally we always seem to find ourselves in the middle of some unnatural disasters right and that's what allegedly the honorable my paul is saying right here he's saying that look there's something connecting all of this that's going on all them blackout you see gt getting is not just gpl old equipment allegedly there is more to it allegedly the honorable minister is going to tell us that there is more connecting these things and we're going to hear about that right now and we're going to hear about the details we're going to go more into the details with Mudwater himself allegedly he's going to tell us was the real situation that started a whole one million dollar bounty allegedly that went on the head when they was trying to figure out who was this mud water character let me get right into the rest of this content i hear what's going on because look there's a lot going on in guyana and if you didn't get a chance to hit that thumbs up button as yet thumbs up the video buddy and stay updated with everything every time this flight take off 
and remember to hit that subscription button and get your return ticket because the flight is always full one love the egg i don't know uh, how people are weighing the cost of living on one hand that is sky high and then constant blackouts that is on the other hand and even with this constant blackout i think people are more uh, sensitized and edified to understand that uh, this blackout is not something that is just happening with uh, with bad management alone but something sinister seems to be at hand here because for the entire day today and yesterday and days gone by gpl is on facebook telling people to stand by your current will come on at 10 o'clock or it will come on at five o'clock or it will come on at 11 o'clock so these outages seem to be planned outages and they seem to be uh, happening at a time when people have at the back of their heads that a tug, a tug and barge uh, turned over in the, uh, in the um, Caribbean Sea there or the Atlantic, whichever one which uh, affected Tobago. And then there was this speculation that that crude was actually coming to Guyana for the, generation, for the generator sets that we have operating for GPL. So it begs this question now, whether it is a shortage of fuel that is causing GPL to take off the lights and take off the current from so many consumers. And I have done a, I have done a calculation and was managing this blackout that my area is getting. And from January to now, we have had in my area about 560 hours of blackouts in total and if you were to look at other areas and you tally up those hours it has to be that gpl is saving a lot on fuel consumption if they are saying that fuel is not the issue so i want to put this on record mark i am monitoring that situation keenly because at the next budget I don't expect to see GPL utilizing the entire budgetary sum that was allocated for fuel. Because when there is blackout, it means the gensets are not working, means that they're not consuming fuel. So I'm supposed to see a significant reduction, possibly in the billions of dollars, when it comes to their fuel consumption for this year, 2024, given what I have. Um, what I'm keeping record of. Okay. The, um, wh wh where was I? Where was I? The, 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 the thing, it stemmed from this person, right? Yeah. Seeing you with the drone and stuff, making that connection. And then that escalated into um, Otis Pearson's realm, right? Now he thinking that, okay, it gotta be he because this individual over here said that. And then now when Leroy Smith wanted to do the one million dollar reward, then it escalated into there. They probably bought up the money. And then when the court matter is ended, they're gonna have to go and get a um give back really Leroy Smith's money. Because the police had no proof of what they were um, um they don't have um credible information. They're just going on here to say they just trying to make and you remember this thing is political now, right? So you you're seeing it on the, the um the the, the 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 what well, I should call them. The people at the bottom of the PPP barrel who are just scrambling for attention and trying to get whatever political currency they could get. Right? Those are the type of people you would never find a respectable person sharing anything about about this this scenario, right? You checked on any any politician, any minister, or anybody, nobody's sharing this nonsense. But there is a particular minister who is hiding behind a page, right? <laughs> that, you know, is expressing himself and stuff like that. We know everything that's going on, right? I have a private investigation company. Okay. You go on Google, you Google um, investigative intelligence solutions. Okay. Ever since I left the U.S. Embassy, that's what I used to do when I was at the U.S. Embassy. I used to work with a man named Dola Makali Dem. He's at another organization that's now. Sad. But we used to conduct background checks on people, Okay. right? People coming on to, to the work and stuff like that used to 
conduct background checks. So when I left there, I started my own thing, right? And then it got popular. I ended up doing work for a certain organization, a certain caricature, as, as they refer to him. Right? I did a lot of work for them um, in th terms of digging up um, information and so on. Because I'm a private investigator, when I get my money, I don't care why you're looking into what you're looking into. Just as long as I could get information about um you know whatever it is you're looking for anything about computers and stuff like that i'm able to navigate myself through so i basically wrote my defense okay all right um and as a matter of fact it was a trap that was set and this thing was never supposed to go down like that because it was a trap that was set for gt and t all right yeah we, we 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 set a trap for GTT in the sense that I used to live in Sue's Dyke. Okay. Right? And a group of people that I'm associated with thought that it would have been cool to expose GTT. Okay. Because GTT is collaborating with the Guided Police Force and they're getting information through a back channel. And then they're not um they're not getting what Warrants, right? They're supposed because of, of the, how the laws are set up. They're supposed to get a warrant yeah. if they want to look into something. Okay. Right. But there's somebody there at GTT. I don't know if it's somebody or if it's the this is how it does, it happens. Uh -huh. But if you check on any cybercrime incident or any cybercrime arrest or whatever, how you feel those people get the IP address of these people tracked? G right. GTT. Give it up. It's GTT or whoever. Um. I. One hundred percent wild crafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? Guyana's Vice President Barack Jack Dale shied away from confirming whether a tanker filled with crude oil was indeed heading to its territory. At a press conference this afternoon in Guyana, Jack Dale was questioned by Guyanese reporters about it after the Ministry of National Security in Trinidad and Tobago revealed that a tugboat named Solo Creed was towing a barge carrying crude oil from Panama to Guyana.